Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again. Tonight I'm going to do, I don't know, I'm trying to show you some, somebody had said that my colors are kind of thick, so I, I try to thin them out just a little bit just to, you know, roll with it, see what I can do with my paints being a little bit thinner than, you know, what, what I'm used to. Um, so for the most part, this color was mixed with uh, golden magenta and yellow, that orange color, so can't really give you any, anything other, other than that. Um, this color is uh, golden uh, magenta. It was a high flow color. Um, next, I'm going to use a TLP mermaid, followed by a golden teal color, and then also golden dark violet. And that one's a the teal was actually a tube paint, and then the uh, dark violet is another one of the flow acrylics. So, um, but yeah, I, I'm testing out, see if, seeing if anything's different in terms of you know, I've seen how some people they can just barely blow their paint off. It's almost like a Dutch pour with this, and you know, it just glides so easily, and it just never seems to be that way with me. So, I thin my paints up, and I'm going to use uh, for the first attempt. Yes, <laughs> first attempt. I'm going to use one of my blow dryers that doesn't necessarily have a lot of power to hopefully, hopefully it'll work out. If not, well, we're going to change it up. We're going to use the uh, the Yeho blow dryer. Right here, what I'm doing is I'm testing my cell activator. Normally, you know, it's three to one, and with the paints being so much th thinner than normal. I was just wanting to see if my cell activator is going to like sink really, really bad, which it did. So I added a little bit more of the uh, oxide black paint to my cell activator, so it would be a little bit thicker. So here's the first one. It's a blow dryer. It doesn't have a lot of power, um, and I'm just going to see if it's going to work. It's not going to work, so I'm going to switch it out. Um, but yeah, that was my first blow dryer that I used, and I tried to do some Dutch pours and stuff, and it just really didn't work out. So I thought maybe I could find a use for it, but it, uh, again, obviously, as you can see, this one actually the ho works better than that one. So um, I'm just go ahead and blow this out and just see what I get. I mean, I'm I'm already not liking what I'm getting just for the sheer fact that. The purple is really overtaking everything. So, on my second attempt, mental note, not so much violet. Um, and again, it would probably would have worked better if the blow dryer would have been stronger. It would have mixed the colors, you know, given some peacock cells a little bit better. And, you know, it wouldn't have looked like the purple and stuff was like overtaking overpowering everything so just gonna do this pour a little bit extra pure white paint in there and then I'll pour my colors again um so yeah again sorry you know it's been busy uh, as I've mentioned before I work at a school and you know for here in Texas it's star testing week so I've been very busy with having to deal with that and seems like every time I turn around there's a kid sick here at the house or I'm under the weather or, or the, the wife's under the weather yeah it's just never ends right so it's been very busy with work and home life um, so with this one I decided to drizzle it out a little bit more and add a little bit more teal I don't even know why I picked this color scheme I think I saw it somewhere and just wanted to give it a shot um, this is on a 8 by 8 tile and you know funny enough I'm just looking at colors I'm like well TLP taffy or no fairy floss not taffy fairy floss I don't know thought thought the pink would go with it so I threw a little bit of dazzle in there for it um, this one is actually using my, my better blow dryer I'm trying to see what I'll get with this um, again, I don't know about the violet, it just seems like, that color just seems like it just likes to be present, it wants to be known and shown, <laughs> so I, 
I don't know. We'll give it a spin and see what we get. Um, again, if it overtakes it, well, I'm gonna we're gonna start over. You know, funny enough, as many times as I scrape some of these things, I always feel like I should just create a channel where I do paintings, and then at the end I just scrape them. <laughs> don't know why. I just, you know, it's kind of like one of those prank things in a way where you do something just to, you know, get somebody or, yeah, I don't know. I just think it would be funny, you know. Be a lot of wasted paint, but it'd be funny to a degree. But no, I'm not going to do that. Um, you know, this one, I don't know. It, it seemed like, funny enough, the one spot I like the most is where I'm seeing the, the uh, fairy floss pink. So, you know, I, I, I don't know. I just feel like it's, something's missing. So, yes, starting over again at this point I had to mix up some more colors so this orange color whatever you want to call it it is actually going to have a lot of bubbles on it so I you know throughout the process I'll try to pop some bubbles here and there um, and again as you can see I'm kind of running out of paint so this is actually going to be the last one that I have to do because otherwise I'm gonna have to mix up a lot more paint um, and with this one, basically what I'm going to do is I'm not going to add, I'm actually going to add even less of the uh, dark violet. Um, and I'm actually adding more of the mermaid, as you see right there. But I'm also going to try to count or, you know, counter the violet by adding some more of the magenta on top of it. And then I'm just going to add like a little hint of the orange. So maybe it won't overpower everything and I don't know I, I just don't want I don't like the purple overtaking everything I, I want to see the other colors so here we are I'm going to put a little bit of the magenta in there and then just a dot of the orange because I don't know you, playing with orange sometimes you, it can go one of two ways look great or look horrible so just go and put a dot um Again, there's my blow dryer. As you can see, that, that's kind of what I have on the end of the dryer. That way it, it kind of, I don't know, gives you kind of a funnel instead of having like a big area where it blows the air. So here we are. Took out for the most part of me blowing just because my head was in the way. Um, that's just because I've moved my camera down below. A little bit lower to where you can kind of see see it up a little bit better you know a better view I would think um, and you know I, I, this one is this was my favorite one out of the three the three that I have done and funny enough I mean who else is anybody else with me I like the outside of this one so much but by the time I spin it off, you know what's going to happen. It's going to be gone. So so here it goes. Pretty much off to the side. Um, whatever. I know, we've all been there. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, you can't win them all. I mean, yeah. Honestly, right now, I don't think I should have put that orange in the center. But I can't take it back now. It's there. Um, I'm really loving the outside. You know, the, the, that's what they call them. Is what peacock cells. There's lots of those. And you can't really complain about it. Um, you know, it, I really wish that the uh, cell activator, I don't know, wouldn't be so thick in certain areas. But if I spend too much, then they're just going to get thicker and you know, bigger veins or whatever you want to call it, webbing cells <laughs> but I mean honestly I can't complain with this one I really enjoy it so again thank you for watching if you didn't like it give, it give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe I'd appreciate it again thanks for watching everybody take care